So before anybody judges me, this is a free preview uh, for the Blaze TV. I do not subscribe to the Blaze TV, nor do I subscribe to Glenn Beck. So this is a free preview thing. I flip it on when it's on because it makes me laugh like all the other news channels. But this guy actually said something true. Now I want to play it for you because it's the first time in a long time, and it's it's a very true statement that actually should be heard. Um, it's the, in the context of the whole Israeli-Gaza war that's going on. That's what he's talking about, right? And so he's talking about Nazi Germany. And this whole Israeli-Gaza thing is nothing more than divide and conquer, just like the illegal immigration and the open border is. And in my opinion, they're going to wrap it all up with Barack Obama, either some sort of impeachment or some sort of staged false flag assassination. I don't have any idea, but it's my opinion that they're going to wrap up this whole divide and conquer that they're doing right now with something with the Barack Obama. But time will tell. Anyway, let's take a listen to this guy and what he's got to say. Watch oh. their neighbors just drink. How many people just watched their neighbors just dragged out of their homes in the middle of the night? Nobody stood up and said anything. Why? They were terrified. That's what. That's why I get really upset. Because I get called crazy all day by my friends and family and coworkers, and I'm going to be the one that's dragged out of this house if it ha if if they if this place is still standing after the earthquake. You know it. it really pisses me off and is anybody going to do anything? No, nope. just like they didn't do in history. Just like all these badasses, quote unquote, that I know at work that ain't, they don't do nothing. They're all talk, every every single one of them. Ain't nobody going to come to my aid and that pisses me off. All I'm trying to do is speak the little bit of truth that I do know and get it out there because I know these people aren't who they say they are and I know they do not have our best intentions at heart no matter what they say. And it really pisses me off because 9-11 was for the Patriot Act so they could spy on the Americans, for the, so they could have a reason on paper to spy on Americans. Now the next 9-11, that even according to our own people, is going to happen before the end of the decade, and it's going to be worse than the prior 9-11, that will be used for the National Defense Authorization Act, meaning they will use that as a reason on paper to go around up Americans and anybody who's anti-government and anti-anything that these awful, evil people are doing. And look at this guy. You know, this guy... They even mentioned on here how he has, now normally I would call BS on the numbers, but I know this guy's a celebrity and I know that hundreds of thousands of people, if not millions, follow him. I followed him when I first started waking up. This guy right here is the guy who got me started, believe it or not. So I have a real soft spot, really, I got a real burning hatred, I'd hate to say it, but it's true for this guy. He, he's, he's special in my heart, let's put it that way. And so they said he had 880,000 Twitter followers and 3 million or something like that Facebook likes or, or followers and I believe that and all these people think this guy's leading them the truth and boy are they leading him astray look at these cussing upside down stars that are sitting right next to him that is not a, that's not a graphic that's attached to the uh, counter that you see that is on his desk and it gets even better and not even to mention that his, that his, 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 his uh, news organization his company is called uh, The Blaze I mean give me a break people and then let's see it. I think it's coming up. Just bear with me. It's on here. I know it's on here. I just got to find it. Right there. Son of Look at that. The dude's sitting there with upside down stars on his desk with the black hole sun, the gear, with the G right on his desk. What, he, what you're looking at, that is no different that is no different than the G in the Masonic compass. It's no different. And then let me show you this, because I didn't even think about it until just now. His company, his, uh, his main company, like his production company that's responsible for all this, is called Mercury One. Now let's look at the logo. Sorry, you gotta bear with me, I got one hand. It's freaking Saturn. <laughs> I mean, come on. Gosh. You know, Cussin, wake up. I mean, how... Uh. Anyway, let me leave you with this, because this is funny. At least I can maybe make you laugh. Because here's some more... Here's some more truth for you. And here's a blunder number 41. Wouldn't mind putting to bed. Worry about the president for seven and a half years I've worked alongside him, and I'm proud to have been his partner, and we've had triumphs, we've made some mistakes, we've had some sex, and some Ah, 
Uh, yep, I bet you have. I bet whoever you're talking about, you bent him over that redwood tree over there in the Bohemian Grove and humped his butt silly. I bet you did all while doing some blow out of some dude's b-hole. I bet you. And don't even sit there and say, oh, that's gross, you're gross. You want to hear something gross? Because this is the official story, right? This is, this is the real story. Look it up. Look it up for yourself in black and white from your whatever favorite news organization you want. You know what they're telling the parents down south for all these, these kids that are being sent up through the border? You know what they're telling the, the parents? Make sure your kid is either taking or has birth control on them in case they get raped along the way. So you know what? No, I am not gross. This world is gross. Thank you to my teammates and subs.